everybody, welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at thirds. What is a third? A third is a square root of a number. For example, the square root of 9 is 3, but the square root of 11 is 3.311662 dot dot dot. It continues forever. It's a weird decimal. If a number is a square number, then the third simplifies easily. Square root of 25 is 5, square root of 100 is 10. If a number isn't a square number, then the third is a crazy decimal. And it's easy just to not write the decimal out and just write it as an accurate square root of a number. So mathematicians prefer to write thirds as a square root instead of a decimal. We're going to look at how we simplify thirds today. So the square root of 75 can simplify. And what we do is we split it into two numbers that multiply to make 75 but one of those numbers must be a square number. We can do square root of 3 times 25, which is the square root of 3 times the square root of 25, which is the square root of 3 times 5, because the square root of 25 is 5. And we just write that as 5 times root 3, 5 root 3. And we simplified that. For the square root of 24, that's the square root of 6 times the square root of 4. That's where the 4 is a square number, so it works. So it's the square root of 6 times the square root of 4, but the square root of 4 is 2, so it's the square root of 6 times 2, 2 root 6. That is the final answer. We have simplified these thirds. Let's continue. So, uh, an important rule is square root of a times the square root of b is the square root of a times b. And some examples of that, this are here. Square root of 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15. Square root of 2 times square root of 18 is square root of 36. But that simplifies really nicely because the square root of 6, 36 is just 6. Because 6 times 6 is 36. And similarly, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is a square root of 25, which is just 5. And so whenever you've got a square root of 5 times square root of 5, that will just be uh, 5 itself. And if you think about it, that makes sense if you remember that square rooting is just the opposite of squaring. We can expand some brackets with thirds. So this one, five, root 5 times 2 plus 3 root 5, you multiply out the bracket, and then root 5 times 3 root 5 will be 3 root 5 times root 5, but root 5 times root 5 will be 5, so it's 3 times 5, which is 15. I get root, uh, 2 root 5 plus 15. Now let's look at the crab's claw. So we have um, our friend the crab here to help us with the claw, like this. I'm going to multiply out the brackets like this. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 root 3 is 15 root 3. Minus root 3 times 2 is minus 2 root 3. And minus root 3 times 3 root 3. Well, we can simplify that as root 3 times root 3 is 3, and then minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. Be careful, you are multiplying positive and negative numbers here, so you have to be careful of your minus signs. Collecting like, like terms, 15 root 3 minus 2 root 3 will be 13 root 3, and 10 minus 9 will be ten, uh, 1. And that is the final answer. I really like how these simplify quite nicely. Finally, we also might be asked in the exam to rationalise the denominator. The denominator is the part of the fraction on the bottom, and basically it means make it into a number instead of a third. The trick for doing this when it's just a single third on the bottom is you multiply the top and the bottom by that third. So you multiply the top and bottom by root 3. 5 times root 3 is 5 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 uh, will be... 3. And that is how you rationalise the denominator. That's the final answer. Now for the bottom one, 4 minus uh, root 5, you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the opposite of the bottom. The opposite of the bottom is when you change the uh, middle symbol, uh, if it's minus you make it plus, if it's plus you make it minus. Some examples of that are here. 3 plus root 5, 3 minus root 5, 
minus 2 minus root 3 minus 2 plus root 3 1 plus 2 root 7 1 minus 2 root 7 so you're changing the middle sign to make it the opposite and that's the rule and there's a very special reason why we do that it's so things cancel out later on the top we, um, we multiply the top and on the bottom we multiply the bottom and it looks like this we will use the crab's claw on the bottom but we'll start with the top we'll start with uh, 4 times 2 will be 8 and 4 times root 5 will be 4 root 5 on the bottom 2 times 2 is 4 uh, 2 times minus root 5 is minus 2 root 5 2 times root 5 2 root 5 and minus root 5 times root 5 will be minus 5 the middle two terms cancel out and that's because we chose the opposite minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 cancel out because they are opposites and with 4 minus root 5 which is minus 1 so you've got minus 1 on the bottom but dividing by minus 1 just makes everything negative so it's just the minus 8 minus 4 root 5 really really nice simplification so we can just write it all as 1 and just simplify that crazy fraction into something a little bit simpler I'll show you one more example of rationalising the denominator. So here we go to multiply the top and the bottom by 4 plus root 3, like this, and we expand the top. 6 times 4, 24, 6 root 3, 20 root 3, and 15. So it's expanding the top. You can pause the video and do it yourself if you want to. And now we're expanding the bottom, like this. The top you collect like terms and you get this. On the bottom you collect like terms and cancel out the uh, thirds. You get this. Finally, you divide the top and the bottom by 13 and you're left with this. Fantastic simplification. I really like that question. Uh, that was going quite fast, so you might want to pause the video and just follow those steps to yourself. Make sure you expand and get the same answer as me at the end. Okay, there are some practice questions for you to try as well here. So pause the video now, take some time, I think about 15 to 20 minutes to try all these questions yourself and see if you can get the right answer. I'm going to reveal the answer in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching today and good luck in your exams.